Good morning, Donna. This is Marsha Kelb, and I'm going to attempt to video this so that uh, you can understand how to use the machine. First of all, you got to be sure that um, it's uh, threaded correctly. And I'm, I'm zooming in, hopefully, so you can see how this top part gets threaded and then you go down you have to go down through the tension and up again and through the this here and then down and through the needle okay so that's the upper part and I would not touch the tension that's the tension adjustment right there um, unless you're having trouble and the, the loops on the stitch will be too big if you're trying to, um, uh, if you need to adjust it. Um, this little knob, as it says, is special stitches. And you can see if you turn it, it gives you zigzag and a few other different stitches. Um, this is for your stitch width, which I don't think you need to adjust at all. I think you'll be okay just leaving it the way it is. And then the silver button, as it says, if you if you push it down, that's going to make it go in reverse when you first start. And again, the length of the stitch, I have it on base, which is B, which is probably six inches per uh, inch, six stitches per inch. And then you can go all the way to 24. That makes a very small, small stitch. So um, let me see what else it says. Oh. And I think these other two, there's a dash and a dot. And I think those might be for um, buttonholing or doing special kind of stitch. But you could, you could fool around with that. But I'm going to leave it on B, and I believe it's six stitches to an inch. Now, um, the interesting thing is it, this, this plate right here lifts up. And you probably, you can't see it well yet. There's the bobbin case. Now, to get to that bobbin case, the easiest way to do it is to lift the machine off the base. And I'm going to show you how to do that. That bobbin case is what was giving you trouble. The needle was hitting the middle part because it was out of alignment. So I'm going to show you how to open the... Open the um, case on the bottom. So this little lever right here releases the machine from the bottom of the case. So you just, you, you have to have that back and unlocked. And then you, uh, hold on. I'm having, okay, then you just lift it and set it back. So it opens you to the whole bottom of the machine, okay? And that's the bottom of the case. Oop, there's an extra bobbin in here. Cool. Um, I guess you can use the bottom of this for some storage, too, if you really want to. Uh, this might be old thread, so just be aware that if you use old thread... You could run into a lot of problem. The thread will keep breaking, and that's a number one concern that a lot of people don't don't realize. So now I'm going to zoom in to where the actual bobbin case is, and that's up here towards the the base of the machine. Oh, and also you have the model number. There's the model number and the serial number right on the edge of the case, okay? Um, and if you need, you, you probably might need to have it serviced sometime and get it oiled and stuff to make sure that it keeps running properly. But at this time, it seems to be okay. So I'm going to go back to the bobbin case, and there's these two little clips. And I think Mary was able to take them out and show you this the other day. But... What was happening was this part has to be this, this little, um, 
arm like thing on the bobbin case has to be lined up for it to be proper. So I'm going to lift this out with a little latch. Yeah, sure. Sorry. And it, and the bobbin case does have to kind of sit in. So I'm going to try to lift it out with the latch. There. All right, the bobbin didn't come out yet. Hold on. There. Oh, now see? That piece just came out. So this piece here has got to be in, and you, you have to make sure that your needle is up. I'm going to take this out so you see the whole inside, okay? So now we have to put the piece that's going to hold the bobbin in, back in. And the way to do that is, hmm, I'm even struggling with it right now. I didn't before, but... All right, I'm going to have to, I'm going to pause this for a minute, and I'll be right back. Hmm. All right, it's not letting me pause, so I'll try. I'm going to set it down for a minute. All right, I just discovered something else I want to show you. So also, this this piece comes out, has to come out. So that's it. So these are the pieces that come out. This here, okay? Those are the pieces. So to put it back together, we have to take this piece and set it into the bobbin. Oh, the, yeah. <laughs> this is not easy. Okay. So when you put it in, you hold the center piece and you kind of drop it in. But why isn't it? Hold on. <laughs> now I'm going to fiddle with this. I just use the the uh, knob to turn it just a little bit to see if this piece will drop in properly. There. It's in properly. Now you can see when I if I so that's the way it should look. You can see that this part has to be almost against the part that's in the machine. And the part that's got like a fork on the bottom goes on the bottom. Okay? Then the next thing you do is you take this, this piece here. And this holds those other pieces in. So you, you set that in. You can see this, this is the piece I just set in that holds this piece in, okay? And then you lock it in with the two little black things, okay? And now, with the bobbin, in order to make sure that the bobbin is threaded correctly, I want to show you. Hold on. <laughs> okay. When you put the bobbin into the bobbin case. You want to make sure that the bobbin thread is coming off the bobbin this way, like counterclockwise, okay? So then you take your bobbin holder, 
the actual little piece that has the that you're going to set into the machine okay that's the back of it so you're going to put the bobbin in and there's a little slit at the You see that little slit? That's where you want the thread to go in. So you bring the thread through there and you kind of tug on it. And it's going to come around to the left. This is hard trying to do this. Let me see if I can, if I can maybe show you better. So here's the bobbin, and there's the thread, okay? So I'm going to pull the thread to the left. Here it is. Let's see if I can... get it so you can see it. So I'm going to pull this to the left and down. It's not really